What up, it's your boy Ron Man. I'm back with another video. This is Trigger Reactions. Hope you guys are doing great today. We're back with another man. Um, so I think the day before yesterday, Neo was interviewed and they brought up the transgender community and kids making decisions about, you know, certain surgeries and things of that nature. Well, anyways, in the interview, it was brought up. Neo spoke openly about it, honestly about it. And of course, it upset some people. So uh, let's watch the Hot Twins uh, speak about it. And of course, you guys already know how these guys do. Uh, they bring humor to it. Uh, <laughs> but uh, we're going to talk about it, see what's going on, and give our opinion as well. Let's go. Yeah. Got a show for y'all. Got a damn good show, everybody. Neo. You think white people know who you <laughs> Man. That dude's music transcends all color barriers. He's not up at sing, rapping and talking about killing each other and selling drugs and singing beautiful love songs and stuff. It's R&B. What you talking about? It's R&B. Yeah. White people, I mean, some white people listen to R&B. A lot of white people listen to R&B. No, you man. think they just sit at home all day listen to it's a small town? Don't try that in a small town? They, white people I was just being facetious. I know white people listen to Neo. Man, Neo is the shit. <laughs> Neo like needs to come Neo. on his own try in a small town. <laughs> but anyway, he Sounds went on a, show, a black TV on YouTube, right? Popular YouTube channel. And somehow I know that it got talking about trans kids. I think it was a setup. <laughs> How are you going to invite Neo on your show and y'all stop talking about training kids? <laughs> He's in on it. He set him up. He probably don't like Neil. Yeah. Now, I can understand. I come on your show and you ask me about training kids. Yeah. Yeah, I understand that. But Neil, he ain't got nothing to do with that. He's just a musician. He's probably... I mean, why y'all even bring that up, you know? Yeah, that's... He good. set him up, man. Set him up, huh? He set him up, man. He's deep state. Back what he is. He's, deep, he's a damn swamp creature. He set Neil up, man. All right, let's go he's to just, the... He's trying to bring down another good black man. That's what he's doing. He can't bring it <laughs> Let's go to the initial interview that get started the that started the firestorm. What? <laughs> parents have almost almost forgotten what the role of a parent is. Amen. It's like okay, if your little boy comes to you and says, "Daddy, I want to be a girl," well, you walk and you just let him rock with that. You just let him. right. He's five. Right. And where did he get that if from? If you let this five-year-old boy decide to eat candy all day, he's going to do that. Exactly. Like, when, when did it become a good idea to let a five-year-old, let a six-year-old, let a 12-year-old make a life-changing... This, exactly. And this is what, this is why I think, I believe, this is just my opinion, that there's such a small, like, um, company or something that's really blowing things up. I don't think real adult people thinks what Neo is saying is crazy. Like, whether you're trans or whatever or not, like, your opinions, it's like, that makes sense. So the people pushing this law, it's a small group of them, man. It's all for something else. We know that. But think about that. Mm. Let's, let's finish, it, you know, watching it, and we'll go from there decision for themselves. Right. When did that happen? Right. But I appreciate Neo for speaking honestly like this. But I think uh, he recanted and went and apologized too. That's another video. I'll react to that next. But still, let's stay here. Let's stay where we are. Uh, I do appreciate that he did that. Did what he's doing now. The apology, we'll talk about that in the other video. But uh, let's finish. Like, I don't understand that. I, I, just, I don't get that. And to medicate these young kids that are five, six, growing up and knowing that it, it affects their brain, it affects their organs, to, it makes them sick. But they're not allowed to do drugs. They're not allowed to do alcohol. Right. We can medicate he them. He can't drive a car yet, but he can decide his sex. Right. Oh, right. What sex orientation? And you can cut up his pee pee. And, and that, to me, that makes no sense whatsoever. Is, I, so I, I don't know if this is true, but I heard a rumor that they, they're they either passed or are trying to pass a law in L.A. that states if your child comes to you and asks to do some of these things and you say no, they can take your kid from yeah, you. Yeah, that's mm. true. It just passed in California. That does that makes no sense. They want us to have no control over our children. 
but I don't, I don't that, get see, it. See, that's the crazy part. It's like my children are my children. It's like you're making a law that if my kid doesn't agree with something I say, or if I if I tell my child no, or any type of reprimand, any type of you're gonna take my child. And this is happening in California. This is why we support the Second Amendment. Because this is clearly, this is clearly tyranny. This is clearly a government that's pushing way too hard. You gotta take my children. Schools, I don't get it. hospitals, libraries. Yeah. They just wanna manipulate. You got to understand when they're so young and they're already, that's, that's right. right. And from them, they're going to believe what you say. I mean, yeah. we say Santa Claus is real. You know, the Easter Bunny. Like, right, oh, exactly. Like, gotta, they know what they're doing. Remember who you're dealing with. Like, I, I, don't, I, I can't take credit for it, but it, I heard somebody say, that's enough. it's like, all right, if your son comes in. Neo sound like a damn white supremacist. Yeah, he sound like, man, he's, he, he sounds like homophobia right He's there. like a damn Trump supporter, huh? Yeah, he sounds like he's scared of gay people. <laughs> like you just gonna get monkeypox because you're in, in the vicinity of a homo. <laughs> it makes more sense now. I thought it was that other dude. You know how the other dude has? He, he brings people on. He, yeah, yeah. I thought you like, never see him though. Yeah, you never see him. But I, uh, I, I perfectly understand why they was talking about. It. Yeah, I mean, just two common sense, rational people. Yeah, yeah. Who, um, who, who knows? I, I have no idea what that political affiliation is, but it's just common sense. It, this is, should not be a political thing. Yeah, what do you think the origin, right. the source, the root of, you know, how this started? See, that's the thing. Like, it shouldn't be political. It shouldn't even be a problem that he said what he said. This is one, you know, when, this is one of my biggest things. Um, and, and I tell you guys this all the time, like even in the comments, be free to speak, disagree, say what you want. Just don't be mean, nasty, and spewing hate, but speak, speak. You don't have to agree with what I say. I don't have to agree with what you say, but we can and should freely speak about it. Like we're adults. Like, I'm grown. I'm a grown man. So if I say, if Neo's saying is what he's saying, and this is what, this is why, you know, uh, this is why money, as far as, like, you know, you can't be scared to lose things, man. You can't be scared to... It's like, hey man, it'll be all right. I put my faith in the high, in God, anyways. So no money, no contract, no job, no career, none of that. Like I'm not saying go out here and just be, but you come on, man. It's like if you're not, if you have a problem with me saying my opinion, and you're gonna take things from me because of what I said and something that I believe, I don't want it. You can keep it. Period. It started with the gay marriage. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. where it all started. Then you gave him something. He's like, yeah, mm -hmm. we can get married. What else can we do? Yeah, we can take I know. <laughs> I'm a woman now. Yeah, that's exactly how we open that door. We open that door. And this is not for all uh, gay people. It's not. Um, I don't have to agree with your lifestyle. Uh, if you want to do that, that is, we all have free will to do exactly what we want. God gave us that free will. You can choose to do what you want. So that's not the issue. I think when when things get lost in translation is a lot of gay people think that straight people don't think they should be gay. We. I, at least I don't, and I know a lot of people that I watch and, and support, we don't care that you're that. It's like, you can't come and impose that on people's children, though. It's like, we were cool. Like, it was fine for you to be, do what you do. 
But when you start putting flags and, and, and things in our schools and talking about it to our children, so you take the Bible and praying out of school, but you can put that in the school? Come on. That's when I started to be like, wait, this is getting a little out of hand. Like this is first of all, this is something that only adults should be speaking about. Period. And to me, when I say adults, I mean at least able to drive a car, 16, 17, because I get it. I'm not a moron to kids getting older and they, whatever, whatever. But you shouldn't be in elementary schools. And this should be, it's just, come on, that's, but we open that door. Not saying that I think that gay people shouldn't be married. I'm saying that when you guys got that, it seems like your community just took hold of it and just started, well, we this and we we need to be this. Like, it's, you know, us being, we feel like we're being treated worse than black people were back in slavery. Like, what are y'all talking about? It's not that deep. It's not that deep as far as, like, what you decide to lay, who you decide to lay with. No one really cares. It's about what's in your bedroom trying to get into my bedroom or into my house. Cut it out. That's not, nah. That's not okay. Like, I'm not going to come and uh, even give my Christian moral values to people. They have to accept it. Now, if they ask me about it, of course, I spread the gospel as much as I can and as much as God leads me to. But if someone is like, no, I'm good. I don't really want to talk about that. I move on. I don't force. I don't do that. And it feels like um, that community has been forcing things. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, yes, you guys should be protected as far as there's hate crimes and stuff like that. We don't. I don't think anyone should be hated or treated horribly because of religion, sex, or any type of thing like that. That's just inhumane to me. But, I mean, you you can't impose and start to violate me because of what you want or what you believe. That's, you know, it's like that community asks for things, but they don't do the same that they're asking for other people's beliefs. You know what I mean? So... And, and, and let me say, not all. Like, uh, again, I got uh, gay relatives, brothers and sisters and cousins and, you know, so I'm not all of them. Because I got, you know, uh, gay family members who like, nah, they doing too much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that ain't all of us. That's a small little, you know, so I want people to know that too. Like, it's not the whole gay community. It's a very small group. Especially when it comes to the trans, uh, that that's even in that group. I don't know too many. I don't know any trans people, but like you could tell that that's even a small group within there because you have people like Caitlyn Jenner who's coming out and saying like, "Hey, this is crazy." Like, so let's people let's see, you know, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I just wanted to say that because I I know people be trying to add like, oh, all conservatives or. Uh, straight people are like hate. No, no, it's not hate. What are you talking about? I don't have to agree with what you do. Like, you don't have to agree with what I do. I mean, you gotta hate me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, cut Another it out. Another idea. Don't, don't tell me. I don't want to hear the rest. We need to tell kids about this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's crazy. Are you stupid? Hmm. Yeah, that's how they look, man. They, they crazy. <laughs> hey, this is, um, you know what's crazy, man? What's crazy, Kim? He got in trouble because he said he was talking crazy about training kids. How can you talk about something crazy without sounding crazy? Yeah. He just shared an opinion. For a kid to make that life-altering decision at it's such a young age, I mean. It's always been a standard that. Children, that would be child abuse. Yeah, it's always if been. If a parent pushes on his kids. Hey, you want to be a boy? Oh, you want to be a girl? Okay, we're going to chop your pee-pee off and give you drugs. But that's who taught them. That's why those kids are doing that. Yeah. But it's always yeah. been a standard. And that's a lot of the parents, man. Kids don't know nothing about that. Not even... Like, okay, so I have a... Uh, my daughter's 11. But she's about to be 11. And... 
I don't want to say too much, but I'll just say a friend of hers, like, they, they, it was some type of thing about gay came up. And, you know, you're like, oh, man. But, you know, you can't protect them from it. They, you know, so when it came up, me and my wife addressed them, just let her know, like, hey, boom. See, that moment right there, us being parents and us saying, hey, this is what this is. This is what, you know, what we do and what we believe over here. And, you know, just kind of addressing it that way, you know. Don't treat the person wrong or anything, but you have to speak about it because you know you can't hide it from your kids. But these five year olds and seven year olds who tell me, "Oh, I'm a girl," when they're really a boy, that's from their parents or an adult around them or an older person that's way more understanding and knowledgeable about these things, uh, speaking that to them and telling them. A five year old don't know nothing about nothing. It's some 21-year-olds. I don't know nothing about nothing. Come on, man. All right. Cut it out. In this country, in, in this entire world, children are not treated like adults. They can't make <coughs> adult decisions till you're 18. You can't vote a certain yeah. age. You can't do this a certain age. You can't drive a certain age. Why is... Yeah, you know, I'm, you know I'm what, just stating what they've already said in the video. Yeah, you know what's... You know, every, every, a lot of times I see the kids experience this for you. Always, always, majority of the time, I'll say 99.9% of the time, either the parents are gay or they're transgender. They planted that, yeah, just that seed parents. in their head from the moment they was born. Yeah, woke, They've been brainwashed. Woke parents. So yeah. his publicist released a statement. His publicist? Yeah. His publicist released a statement that you, it was the boilerplate you know, response. Oh, I didn't mean to offend anybody. I love homosexuals and homos and all the trans kids, you know that same bullet plate statement. Yeah, that same yeah. standard statement they always give. But then Neil says, "Nah, bitch, <laughs> I got to do another video." <laughs> straight Here's up, Neo. Yeah, clarifying some things. <laughs> yeah, straight up. What's going on, loved ones? This is Neo. All right, listen. I normally don't give too much of a damn about what y'all think about what I do, or tell them what y'all have to say about what I say, whatever. I normally don't care because, like I said, opinions ain't special. Everybody got one. However, this is something I feel very strongly on, and I need y'all to hear this from the horse's mouth, not the publicist's computer. So check this out. <laughs> First and foremost, I do not apologize for having an opinion on this matter. I am a 43-year-old heterosexual man raising five boys and two girls, okay? That's my reality. Now, if my opinion of Offended somebody? Yeah, sure. I apologize for you being offended because that wasn't my intention. My intention is never to offend anybody. However, I'm entitled to feel how I feel. I'm absolutely entitled to feel how I feel the right. same way you are entitled to feel how you feel. I ain't asked nobody to follow me. I ain't asked nobody to agree with me. I was asked a question and I answered the damn question. Okay? I have no beef with the LBGTQIA plus community whatsoever. I ain't got no beef with y'all. Do whatever the hell it is you want to do. Do what you want to do with your kids. However, somebody asked my opinion on this matter and this is how i feel i will never be okay with allowing a child to make a decision that detrimental to their life i will never be okay with that i don't care I, I definitely plan to educate myself a little bit more on this matter however i doubt that there's any book anywhere or right. any opinion that somebody's gonna tell me that's gonna make me okay with letting a child make a decision like that that's just period point blank and that's how i feel if i get canceled for this then you know what maybe this is a world where they don't need a neo no more all right mm -hmm. and i got no problem with that i'm a hustler all right i'll figure it out i got kids to raise and i'm gonna do that regardless so with that being said right y'all have a good day i love everybody live how you want to live love how you want to love but your opinion is yours Speak your opinion as much as you damn well feel like it. Because as I said, they're not important. They're not special. Everybody got one, and you're entitled to it. I'm entitled to mine. All right, y'all feel how y'all want to feel. Have a great day. It's Neil. Peace and love. My opinion is, if you do it right, uh, I don't want this video to get too long. Um, Cause I do want to talk about the recant. I, it seems he recanted all that and went and. I hope not. Um, but I'll do that video next. But yeah, like I agree with Neo, man. It's we everyone has a right to have an opinion. Okay, that's fine. I'll even take it take it a step further. You could literally be someone that says I hate black people. Now, most aren't mature. I'm just being honest here. I could have a conversation with someone who feels that way. 
We can talk. I want to know what, well, why? Well, this is what I believe. This is this, this, that, this, that. Cool. That person doesn't have to change their mind. They don't have to change their heart. They don't have to do any of that. That's them. I don't hate that person because they feel that way. Do you? I'm making a point here. I'm saying exactly what Neo is saying. You can have your opinion. You can feel how you want to feel. Think what you want to think. Do what you want to do. As long as it doesn't hurt anyone physically, do what you want to do. So will I. It goes both ways. There's no any of that. When did it become this, y'all? When did it become this? But if you like this video, you already know to do my hit that thumbs up button down below. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, man. We're coming with more videos. Go support the Hodge Twins. And, hey, you are, if you rock with me, man, go support Neo, man. I don't know what music he's gotten out lately, but this definitely, uh, you know, I've always rocked with Neo from before. So, yeah, go support Neo. Uh, I'm definitely going to come back with that recant. I heard he recanted everything and apologized. I don't know if he did it on video. He probably tweeted it or something, but I'm going to do that video next. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, share this video with all your friends and family. Comment down below what you want me to react to next. This is your boy Ron. This is Trigger Reactions. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.